<clears throat> got my coffee. I don't remember what it says. Wild and free. This is my mushroom coffee. I really do think that the mushroom coffee gives me energy. And it has lion's mane in it to help me focus. So, see how it goes today. All right, so is uh, everybody ready for a Timu haul and another ghost story? Um, I have three different ba three bags. One bag only has one thing in it. But I think I know what this is. And then I have this one. And they don't have a lot in them. And I have, I'm sure I keep showing you in the, in the mirror I have here for when I put on my makeup yesterday. Um, and I think these are the three we're going to do. Um, we will slow, let me see. Yeah, you know what, let's just start with this one. with my cutters lately taking them to home I'm taking them to work and moving on I gotta leave them at home okay so we'll start out with the small one so how's everybody today I think I already asked you that but I'll ask you again here we're gonna be in the I think around 94 96 today so I'm very excited about that. Okay, so in this package, I got, and I really do hope it works. I got um, a front load washer. Will not buy another one. And I seen this on, On there it comes in two pieces and you screw this base on which I believe is the magnet I don't think I have anything I don't know I don't have anything but it you put it to the this is for the dryer I'm sorry well, I guess it could be for a washer or dryer. It just keeps your door open because you know how when you close it, then it starts stinking. I got this and I just got one because I wanted to try it. And if it works good, then I'll get another one for the, for whichever one I don't use this on. It's a 2.6 inch magnetic washer door um, prop. I paid $6.49 for it. And it is $6.48 right now. It says it is 17 inches. And then you can fold it however you need it to keep your door. Open or closed. I'll show you how they how they have it, but I think I'm gonna go ahead, I'll try it and then I'm gonna probably end up ordering me another one. And I guess you don't need one for your dryer, only your washer, because that's when that door closes, that's what starts stinking. So I may not need to order me another one. And I probably should've got white, cause mine are white, but I got black. I don't think it was any cheaper if I ordered black or white. I think it was either or. Okay, so um, this story I'm gonna tell you today 
kind of goes along with the one that I had already told you about. Wyatt and his imaginary friends. Friends at my um, old office building. When my son was, I think he was close to three. I think he was three. Um, three going on four. We moved into, it was a garage. Um, this person converted their garage into a, like an apartment. When you pulled up in the driveway, the door still looked like a garage. Um, and then you go in the side door and they had this little apartment and you had a shared backyard. I'll take a drink because my voice is crackly. Which I guess is perfect for, for a ghost story. So when you go in, when you walked in the door, um, there was a pretty good sized living room that had sliding door that goes to the, the backyard which again was a shared backyard with the house. And then there was another small door you walked in and it was a real tiny kitchen, a bedroom, one bathroom. And then you open the door and it opens. Well, let's see. When you did the kitchen door, it opened in. And right where that kitchen door ended, there was another door that went from the kitchen to this small, um, maybe three foot wide storage area that was the entire length of the garage. Just a, um, a one car garage. So we use that just for our storage. And um, we had lived there, uh, I don't think it was quite a year. Um, when we, for the total length that we lived there, we didn't live there for a full year, I don't believe, because of everything that happened. So when we moved in, um, we had, I'm trying to think of the kind of dogs they were, chow, chow, chow dogs. And one of the dog, the female dog got pregnant. So anyway, I probably shouldn't have added that in yet. Sorry, I get nervous when I'm telling it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we moved into this house. It was me and my husband and my son, Christopher, which at the time was um, four. And then we had two chow dogs. So in the course of us living there, my son started talking about having a friend. And he said that his friend's name was Christopher the Indian. So, I mean, at first I was a little bit worried about it and I called my mom and mom's like, oh, you know, all kids have imaginary friends, you know. So I'm like, okay. So, you know, they played and it started out friendly. Um, over time, Christopher the Indian seemed to get more, um, not possessive, um, protective of Christopher. Um, he didn't like if Christopher got in trouble or, or whatever. But anyway, so after a few months, didn't really think of anything. And then Christopher started arguing with his friend. He's like, no, he won't let me play with this or he won't let me play with that. I'm like, Christopher, if you don't stop, if you and your friend don't stop fighting, you guys can't play together. So it would be good for a little bit. And like I said, this was over, of course, of just a few months. So then one day um, I was there and Christopher was in the kitchen area playing with his friends. They were playing, I think, trucks or something on the floor. Well, he shut the door that went from the living room to the kitchen. Or I assumed he shut the door. So then I can hear him in there fighting. And I'm like, Christopher, what did I tell you? Stop fighting. And then he, he goes, well, Christopher won't let me out of the kitchen. I'm like, the door don't lock. Just open the door. And he, he couldn't open the door. And so I got aggravated because they were fighting and I just opened the door. I'm like, it wasn't locked. He goes, yes, Christopher locked it. He wouldn't let me out of the kitchen. So I said, okay, I think that's it for a little while. I think you guys need to not play together because all you're doing is fighting. 
So anyway, he, he was like mad at Christopher. So he was fine not playing with his friend, Christopher the Indian. And um, later that night, my the female dog went into labor. So I didn't want her outside because it was, I think it was in summer. So it had to be, you know, July or August. And I want to say this was, this happened in July because it was hot out there and I just didn't want her out there. You know, you know chow dogs, they're fluffy anyway. So I brought her inside. I set her up a pallet. We had old couch and so I brought in um, the cushions from the old couch that was in the back and I just laid them on the floor and made her like this pallet. So when she come in, she like, she walked through the back sliding door and she came in and she laid down and then it's like she sent something and she got up and she went to the edge. So our, our living room was carpeted, but the kitchen was not. She would not go in the kitchen. She stood there and barked and barked and barked and barked and barked. I'm like, and her name was Cinnamon. I'm like, Cinnamon, stop it. And so she would lay down for a little bit and she would go in there and she would bark and bark and bark. And so I walked over. I'm like, what are you barking at? And I looked and I had a, a dresser that had a mirror on it. She probably sees herself in the mirror, thinks it's another dog and she's mad. So I went in the closet and I got a blanket and I covered the mirror. Thought that would be it. <clears throat> no, that wasn't it. She just kept doing this, kept doing this, kept doing this. Finally, um, we all just slept in the living room waiting for her to have these puppies. And I shut the door that went from the living room to the kitchen. And then we just all stayed in the living room. So anyway, um, she had the puppies and everything was good. Cute little things. And so after a few days, um, we put her back outside. And we had moved their kennel to a, to a different area so that it was closer to the door, her and the puppies. We can keep an eye on them. And um, the lady that we was running from, it was just her and her daughter, I believe. Um, they were rarely there. And so most of the time our dogs had the run in the backyard. She didn't have any animals, so they just let us do whatever. And um, we wanted with the dogs, very nice like that. So, um, it seemed like it was a little bit later. Christopher and his friend was playing again. And then they got into just more arguing. And I'm just like, I'm tired of this. You guys are gonna have to stop arguing. So one night we were going to bed and I laid down in bed and um, because it was just a one bedroom, it was my ex-husband, then um, Christopher and then me. He was sleeping in the middle. And so I laid down and then just started to close my eyes and something growled at me. And I'm like, what was that? And then I'm like, well, maybe it was the dogs. So I just kind of sat there for a minute and then it growled again. And so I got up, I looked out the window, I could see cinnamon the puppies were sleeping and then um, Cayenne, which was the male dog, um, he he was um, on the, like the mom and the babies were over here sleeping and then he was like just a little bit around it. They were all sleeping. None of the dogs were awake. So I woke up my ex-husband and I said, there's something growling at me under the bed. She, he goes, well, look in the, under the bed. I'm like, I am not looking under the bed. You look under the bed. He would not. Neither one of us would look under the bed. So I stayed awake. It seemed like all night because I was so scared to close my eyes. Why I stayed in that room, I don't know. So then I woke up and I was telling him, I called my mom. And I'm like, I'm really freaking out. I don't like this. And um, I go, if it happens again, 
will you guys come and pick me and Christopher up? Because my ex was like, there was nothing growling at you. Um, you're just imagining things. I'm like, no, something growled at me. And if you didn't think anything growled at me, why are you scared to look under the bed? But he absolutely would not look under the bed. So anyway, the next night it happened again. And so it was like, we went to bed earlier that night. So I got up and I called my mom and I'm like, well, you guys come and get me and Christopher because I'm not staying, I'm not staying in here with this thing growling at me. So, like I said, it was in the middle of the summer. It was at night. And I want, my mom, my dad showed up, my sister, um, my brother, um, my niece, Brittany, the one I talk about all the time. She was, um, she's only a year younger than Christopher. So she was probably two, almost three. And then um, Brittany's mom. So when they pulled up, Brittany, so my mom and dad pulled up in their truck and then my brother and um, Kathy um, and Brittany pulled up and I think at that time they had like a little car, a Mustang or something. And they pulled up. When they opened the door, Brittany jumped out of the car and, and she's like, Christopher, Christopher. And Christopher was standing in the doorway. And so our front door was open that opens to the inside and the screen was open that opens to the back side and it opens towards the garage. Anyway, when Brittany was running towards Christopher because she was excited to see him, middle of summer, no wind, the screen door slammed shut. And Christopher was just about ready to walk out and it slammed shut. So anyway, I pulled Christopher back and I looked out the screen, I'm like, did you guys see that? You see what I'm talking about? So anyway, I opened the door and um, my sister come in and she goes, well, do you have everything ready? I'm like, no, I'm so scared to go in that bedroom. So she's like, all right. She goes, I'll take a turn, I'll go in there, I'll get some clothes and come back out. So we did that, that's what we did. It was, we were laughing the entire time. Why were we laughing, I don't know, because my heart was beating a thousand beats a minute. I was so scared. And then I would go in and get clothes and she would go in. We went to the bathroom, got bathroom stuff. But my ex was just like, I'm not leaving. You guys can leave. Whatever. You can stay in this haunted place. I am not. So anyway, we took turns. We got all of Christopher's stuff. I would not go. And I'm like, whatever's in that little storage area stays till tomorrow. I'm not going in there at the night at nighttime. I just, I, I'm, I'm not doing it. So we got everything and left and we stayed at my mom's and I called the pastor of our church and I told him what happened. I'm like, will you please go pray for that, that apartment? I'm like, it freaks me out. So he did. And I was gonna, me and Christopher were gonna move. We were gonna bring everything back. And then he goes, just so you know, even though we've prayed over it, Anybody can bring it back in that does not believe. So if you have people like my my ex-husband had all kinds of friends that used to come in and out. So even though I believed and I had faith that nothing would enter, you know, I had no control of who he invited over whenever I was gone. So I just, I never did. I, I just stayed living with my mom and dad. He ended up living there maybe another month or so. Um, and then he, he left and we found a different house, but no, that freaked me out. I can still remember it like it was yesterday, the growling, um, that it made. Um, he never hurt Christopher or hurt me. It was more like warning, like you won't let us play together or you got onto Christopher for that. And he just didn't like it. And so I did a little bit of research on the house and a little boy was killed. He was ran over near that area. And I don't know if that's what it was. Um, I don't really know. So whenever these imaginary friends start coming around, I'm like, no, you are not invited. You're not invited in my car. You're anything that is mine. You are not invited in. You are not allowed. 
So yeah, that's kind of why I freaked out a little bit when Wyatt had um, his little imaginary friend. And so I'm like, Wyatt, please don't be like your daddy in that, you know, <laughs> sensitive to these kind of things. And I've driven by that place a few times. Um, and I've always wondered, has anybody else had any issues? Maybe that's why it doesn't seem like a lot of people stay there. Um, we did tell the girl in the front and she's like, I never have had any issues in this house. Um, supposedly she lived in that apartment and she moved out to move into the big house. Um, so I honestly don't know. I don't know. I'm just glad that I didn't go back. Um, no. But yeah, that's something that happened to me. And like I said, the growling, I just can't, I still remember it. Creepy. Very creepy. Okay, so we're going to do the second bag. And in the second bag, it's only a couple of things. Let me go back. So yeah, if you guys have any ghost stories and you're going to tell them, let me know. And I'll definitely go to your channel and listen to them. Um, I got quite a few ghost stories. So we'll just keep telling them. We'll just keep telling them. All right, let me just find these two. Okay. So this next two things um, I got for free. And I think it was like a spin the wheel deal. Um, you pick two items for free and then you pick additional items. So... First thing I got was um, their plus size high waisted shorts, moisture wicking. Um, I got them in gray, and I'm in the wrong section. Now, when I click it, it is just leave a review. What is going on? I bet it's down here. Yeah, it was ordered with a bunch of other things. But I don't know how to get to. Like the size I got, because now when I click it. Now it's, I don't know. Well, let me see if I can find it. I don't know what size I got, but I just know they didn't cost anything. <clears throat> they have pockets. It's a thin, uh, you guys could probably see my hand through there. And what size did I get? I got one XL, which I think I don't know. I think those are a 14. And they're kind of long. So I'll definitely wash them and try them on. Um, in the reviews, everybody loves them. They said they fit perfect. So we give it a try. And this next thing, everybody's gotten one. So I'm excited that I finally got one. Sorry for the noise. The mood bag. And I thought about getting, um, sorry, the zipper. It was like a nice, thick uh, canvas bag. 
and just open with one pocket right there. It doesn't stink. I was afraid of that if it was. But I love the color of it. Um, it's got the adjustable strap at the top. And so I thought about um, getting different pins and putting on here, but I'm not sure. Oh, and it has this. Does it have it on both sides? Yeah, so you can carry it like this or like this. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So I know people do different things with them. I think they put, um, they buy brooches and put brooches on there or different pins, which I think that's what I might do um, to dress it up a little bit. I like that a lot. We're not opening this one yet. Let me put that there. Hold on a second. Let me get the other one really fast. Okay, it's this one. Some of these things that I'm opening, I ordered along with the dryer, which I don't know what I did with it now. Oh, right here. With the, I keep saying dryer, with the washer prop. And this next thing also, um, it seems like everybody has one. Oops. And I don't know if I'm gonna put it in this office or if my work office, but it's a shelf, a corner shelf. doing this right. Hmm. I don't think I'm doing this right. I think I did this backwards. We're going to figure this out. It goes like this. Sorry. I want you guys to see it. it out just kind of like a you just push them and clip them in oh. tell you my nose is itching what does that mean when your nose itches Somebody's coming to see you. Somebody's talking about you. Okay. 
Okay. Isn't that pretty? And it's like a, a real thin wood, but it goes at the corner. Like this. So I'm anxious to try it. I love it. Um, how much was that? It's a lotus storage rack <clears throat> and a floating wood lotus shaped. Um, I should have pinned all my hair back. Um, I paid $5.39 for it and it is $4.04, but I'm going to show you how they have it. Isn't that pretty? Again, I only got one, but I think I should have got another one. So pretty. Okay, and I'll show you something else that I got in this order. Um, it is a metal shoe rack, um, plasticky. Um, I got it at my office because whenever I moved and they put my internet in, they put just, it was like a pile of routers, modems, wires, all just in the corner and it was driving me crazy. And it's right next to my big printer. And so I'm like, well, I need something that's kind of thin. Um, that maybe I could put some type of boards or cardboard or plywood or something and make shelves on and then we can organize the wires and, and stuff like that. So anyway, um, it was discontinued. Dang it. Well, I can just show you right here. that shoe rack right there and uh, my son did it that way at first but then we had to rearrange it um, and we had to move on other places we had to separate them so anyway um, I now have that and I'm gonna use it for a shoe rack I just it's at my office and I haven't brought it back home yet but I really liked it I like I like that because the shoe racks I have now they go like this and it seems like my shoes don't stay on, they fall off all the time. Um, these ones are just straight, so you can just set them on there. To me, I think it's well worth the $7.99. It was discontinued. Um, they have some similar to it, anywhere from $8.18 to $10.13. And I almost bought these. They were also at Costco, but they're still cheaper here. Uh, just, I still might get some. Not only for my house, but for my office as well. So does it say, yeah, I paid $7.99 for it. So we'll see. All right. Okay, I think this is a pajama set. I got it in XL and it's really thin which I like it's a little bit stretchy so I hope that it doesn't um, just stretch out shrink up and stretch out um, I haven't had the issue yet with Timu but it is 95 polyester 5% elastic so it shouldn't But I got the um, black and pink checkered one and the black and pink checkered shorts. I can't sleep in pajama pants. I can't sleep in, in pants at all or long sleeve shirts. It has to be short sleeve, tank tops, shorts. Um, I get too hot and then I'm kicking. Well, even in just shorts and shirt right now, I'm getting hot. 
just kicking everything off. Driving me crazy. Um, I got the pink color and I paid $6.49. And then again, speaking about the shorts for sleeping. I think I got these for sleeping. And they are lounge. I paid $11.49 for them. And they are lounge bottoms. And they're very soft. I love them. I got gray. Let's see. They're 100% polyester, but I mean, they're super soft. So I got light gray, dark gray. So it say, it says Los Angeles, USA. And then I got, um, these are, yeah. And then I got these. And they're thin, light, soft. So get these washed and try them. Um, I said I paid eleven forty nine, and they are ten thirty four right now. And they come in four different color selections. You can get um, the dark gray, light gray grid. I'll show you. These ones are $11.58. And those are cute too. Those might be cool for winter around Christmas, Valentine's. Those are $11.58. Dark gray brown plaid or $9.28. Dark gray apricot plaid, which is really pretty, are $7.48. I think those are the ones I'm going to add to my cart. Because I think I'm going to like lounging around in those. And then the one I got is just mixed color, and they are $10.34. I'll wash them and then I'll let you guys know how they are. Okay, and this is the last thing in this bag. No, I'm fibbing. I'm fibbing. Okay, so this I got for Dakota. I was thinking. It was gonna be bigger, <clears throat> and I got her, I got it for her to use as a dog bed. Um, I paid. It was free, so I didn't pay nothing. It's a bohemian style round cushion. Cushion probably should have been the thing that triggered something here. Um, but I just seen this. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, she's going to love it to lay down on that. It's just like a chair cushion. It's not very big. <laughs> she doesn't like it. She gets mad because her body doesn't fit on it, um, even though she does roll into a ball. And so she'll usually just fight it and throw it around. Um, but it is 11.29 right now. But these are all the patterns that they offer. And I really like them. They're pretty. So if I can get them in a set, I might order some for my chairs. But for a dog bed, what I was thinking is a no-no. And then the other thing, I got two free, two free items in here. 
And the next thing I got that's free is a laptop stand with cooling fans. I got it in gray. And it is sold out, so I don't know what it's going for now, but something similar um, from another seller is $13.94. Mine, I'll show you guys, just has one big fan um, in the middle, and then the one that's similar has like six sm small, small fans, three at the top, three at the bottom. But as long as it's got a fan, it should work. Comes with a charger. this out in a minute so it looks like it goes up or down okay it does this is better than the last one I bought from Timu which I may not have got from Timu I may have got it from AliExpress I think's the name of it but it has this little stand here and how do you turn it on? something on it. Well, I have I guess I have to read the instructions. It says it will hold a 10 inch to a 17 inch. Called the Star Series. I don't know how to turn it on. I don't see any buttons. I see Apple icons. And they still don't. Um, Oh my gosh. Well, I might have to figure this out and tell you guys about it later. Because I don't see a place to charge it, but I know it charges. Because I got a cord. Anyway, I'll figure it out and then I'll let you guys know. So I got that. Um, and I hope it works. And then the last thing that I got, let me just put this back up. I'll take out the instructions and we'll figure it out from there. Should bug at me. Oh, there's the charging port. So maybe it has to be plugged in all the time. I don't know. And then the last thing I got was some cooling boxer underwear comfy stretchy boxer briefs um i bought them for my husband i got him double xl which is the biggest they came in but they're small they're small 
um, they don't fit in. So I got some more. I got some more sleep shorts. So it comes in a gray, I think this is yellow or tannish, I can't really tell. Um, this is like a cream. They're really thin, I like them. Let's see. Um, does it say what they are? 92 polyester, 8% spandex. Soft, stretchy, I think I'm gonna love them just to sleep in, um, but I'll have to find him probably one more size up just because they they do run a little bit small. I bought him some more on here and I got him the same size they fit in. These ones would not fit him, so. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys liked my ghost story, even though it freaked me out. Um, never went back to that place. Um, like I said, I have driven by it a couple times. It's still there. There used to be, um, it was on, it was the, so as soon as you turned, it was the last house. And then you have to make this left and it was right on this corner. And then in this little, now it's a dirt or the last time I checked was a dirt field, but there used to be a church there, but the church got, um, torn down but I believe where all of that was there was I don't know what it was before the church or if it was just a church but I think when that happened it was a parking lot and um the little boy had gotten ran over I think what it had said I don't remember if it listed it probably said the name I don't really remember because it's been a long time ago so Oh my goodness, how old is Christopher's 32? So this happened 28 years ago, a while. And he has not, he doesn't remember anything. I'll ask him if he remembers. He says, no, he doesn't remember um, playing with him or anything. He just remembers us talking about it. So he doesn't remember anything and he hasn't had any more like imaginary friends because after that I was like you know no more you know you get another imaginary friend we're going to take you to church <laughs> get you prayed for so they'll leave you alone um no I don't do imaginary friends anymore and I know that not all of them turn out that way some are just harmless or whatever but that one uh-uh and the one at my old office no um, it could, they can stay there. They can stay there. It's crazy. And you know, that, that old building, when I first moved in 10 years ago to that old building, um, it wasn't a full, like right now, I think almost every office is rented except for, I was on the second floor. So except for two offices that were on the second floor, which was my neighbor who moved out and then I moved out. So I think they've pretty much kept it full. But <clears throat> um, when our company first started um, doing electronic filing to, to courts, um, <clears throat> sorry, my throat, it was so busy that they asked if we would um, be willing to work later. So they're like for, one week if you could work Tuesdays and Thursdays um, and stay until eight o'clock at night. So I got off at four from my job and then I went to the e-filing department. I still worked in the same place, everything's online. And then I would work for the e-filing department from four o'clock till eight o'clock at night. And I did it in the office there. And you know, I could hear footsteps and they were light footsteps, not like bam, bam, like not heavy, but you could hear footsteps. I was in suite 214, and so it was the suite directly above me. I'm assuming it's 314, but I don't know. And I would hear them run diagonal, 
across, and then a couple minutes later, they would run back. And then they wouldn't hear anything else. That's all it would be. And so I thought, oh, somebody's up there, you know. Um, they brought their kids to work or something. And so after it happened a few times, I asked um, my friend that works there. She cleans the building, Maria. And I'm like, who's in the suite above me? And she's like, nobody. I'm like, nobody? There has to be somebody in there because I'm hearing them. And she's like, no, nobody's up there. So I told her, and then she's like, now I'm scared to go in there. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I got more stories about that building. So anyway, we'll just keep going with these ghost stories. We'll just tell different stories. If I have enough, um, we'll stretch them out. We'll stretch them out. But all right, guys, thanks for coming on here and watching me. Um, again, if you guys have ghost stories, please let me know um, because I want to go listen to yours. Um, I enjoy them, but that one, that one did scare me. It really did scare me. I think that's, yeah, that one scared me. I have more that I wasn't really scared, scared, but, um, that one, that one scared me. So, all right. I have to get ready to go to work, but I will talk to you guys later. Um, thank you guys for coming and I will see you guys soon. Bye.